Walking around the Yamanote Line, part two. Let's go. Day two, starting from Mejido Station. Last time, I was rained out. In part one, I made it this far. Today, it's a little cloudy, but uh, the weather forecast is good. So let's see what happens. We're going to head south. Fun fact, it only takes about a minute to get here from Ikebukuro by train. Another unexpected treat, this cute little mailbox. Fortunately, I left early enough in the morning I should be able to make it to, at least to Shinagawa today. Next stop is going to be Takananababa. I love that name for some reason. Okay, we're at uh, Takananababa. It's 7.49 a.m. I put a link in the description for Big Box. Check that out. Suzuya has a waterfall. I wonder if it's digital or real. It's really water. Next station, Shinokubo. This little sign says no elephants allowed in the park. I didn't know that was a problem. Actually, it says don't litter. The one on the left says no smoking. First pit stop of the day. I think the difference is today that I chugged a bottle of water before I even started. I think last time the mistake I made was I didn't hydrate enough. I'm not gonna make that same mistake again today. Before there was K-pop, there was Johnny's. Before Johnny's, there was Pikachu. And we've made it to Shin Okubo Station. Next stop is Shinjuku. Oh, you see Yoshino behind me? Yep. Fun fact, it's only about a five minute walk from here to Shinjuku Station. Like I've said in several segments of this video, each part of the Yamanase Land has its own unique character, and this being a uh, like Koreatown of uh, Tokyo, I noticed all the young men had like, looks like a BTS haircut. So I don't know if they're like Koreans who were born and raised in Japan, or if that's just the how you wear your hair here, but I, it really stood out. Getting closer to Shinjuku Station. Japanese sure do love their baseball. That's going to be the Tokyo Kabukicho Tower. And this is a time lapse. Now in this massive metropolis, one of the surprising things is how retro Tokyo can actually be at times. So these bars will all fill up at night. Salarymen and office workers having a drink, blowing off steam. I bet you're wondering what this street looks like at night. Well, watch the end of the video and find out. So I'm just coming up on Shinjuku Station and guess what? It's raining again. But that's not gonna stop me. Leaving JR Shinjuku Station, next stop is Yoyogi. Fun fact, the outer loop of the Yamanote line goes clockwise. The inner loop goes counterclockwise. I can say with absolute certainty, today's walk so much easier than the previous one. Yogi Station was much easier to find than I expected. And next stop is Harajuku. This little road follows the Yamanote line, I believe. Fast forward. Fun fact, the Yamanote line has no express trains, only local trains. It looks like the easiest way to Harajuku Station is through Yoyogi Park. There we go, Harajuku Station. The old exit was under construction when I was there, but fortunately I found an old picture from 2014. Next station, Shibuya. One of many reasons to fall in love with Tokyo is this perfect blend of the new and the old. And we're at Shibuya Station. And I've arrived at Ebisu Station. The station first opened in 1901 as a freight station for the original Yebisu Beer Factory. Making good progress, we're already at Meguro Station. And we're at Go 
Rotonda Station. Next station, Osaki. Most of the signs around Osaki Station are in English and Japanese, making it a very foreigner-friendly location. So this is where things took a turn for the worse. I actually thought that I was following the Yamanote line because I saw this train. What I didn't realize is that it's just coming out of the rail yard. And it's not going to lead me to Shinagawa Station. Okay, how's this for fortuitous mix-ups? I went the wrong way, took a wrong turn, and actually ended up finding the rail yard for the Yamanote line. And since this video is about the Yamanote line, gotta put that in there. And I was hoping to make it to Shinagawa today. Actually, I was hoping to make it to Tokyo Station, but uh, it's getting late and it started to rain. See the ground here? Yeah. Okay, I was totally wrong. This is not Shinagawa Station. This is, where am I? Oimachi. The umbrellas are starting to come out. I guess I'm gonna hang it up for the day. That's just a little over 30,000 steps for the day. And before you go, as promised, at the end of this video, you can now see what this street looks like at night. No sound effects, no music, just the sound of the city. 